Yeah, we can bring a lot of resources with us on this one. We can just keep reusing that thing, right? I mean, like... The oxygenator? The only reason why not, I don't... I mean, the, uh, just the, like, rocket, right? Now that we've made the better rocket. Oh, uh, yeah. So eventually we're going to upgrade to the, uh, the biggest rocket. Ah, so this is just the medium-sized one? Yep. Uh... Rover seat, two compound. Do we have that? Do we only have one compound? What? <laughs> Do you need more compound from me? Uh... Yeah, at some point. Even a compound sitting over here, actually. Yeah, I need one more than that. Oh, one more than the one. Oh, is can we just see all the resources that are connected into the platforms can be seen by all the other ones? Uh, no, I just saw saw that it was there. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I have enough repackagers, I think. Okay. We re we really don't actually need too much, too, which is kind of nice. Oh. Well, I figured at the very least I could make some stuff, and if we're going to a new planet, you know, kind of the more we can bring, the faster it's going to be. Yeah. Um, Let's see, what do we need for a solid fuel thruster? Ammonium and aluminum. There we go. Interestingly enough, almost everything I'm working with at this point is with that small printer. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. By the way, uh, we're going to have at least one storage platform. Uh, one medium storage on the, uh, the base itself, or not the base itself, the ship itself. Okay. That, uh, can just be filled up with whatever the heck we want. Like... Where is the small printer? Uh, it's oh, the... it's over here? Yep. Okay. Aluminum. So three aluminum and one compound. Do we have aluminum? Yeah, we should. Okay. Alright, this seat is in. So, yeah, fill your inventory with whatever. Uh, oh, but I have all these packaging modules and I haven't used them yet. <laughs> well, uh, package up some of the big generators. Yeah, I I think the first thing I need to do is... Uh, let's see, big generators, big solar. I need to make a buggy so we can put stuff on them immediately. Oh, yeah. I mean, technically, you could go on an epic quest to retrieve your previous one, but, uh... No. <laughs> Probably it's gone. <laughs> and if it's not gone... It's... It's there somewhere. It's definitely in the center of the planet. It's just like... Okay. Uh, it can it, live there. <laughs> yeah, it just ain't worth going back for. It'll be for an archaeologist of a future game to discover the technology we've strewn about this place and wonder that about... That would actually be kind of cool if uh, each subsequent playthrough just results in uh, more locations. Like, all that uh, broken stuff actually just, like, saves snapshots of your base, and then just occasionally plunks that down, like, years later. Or, like, a cave system you dug. That'd take way too much work, but I'd love to play a game like <laughs> that. Dwarf Fortress does that. Right, what do I want to package? You said a medium platform, right? Ooh, 
I can't package a large platform, large storage, right? I don't think so. Uh, the only stuff you can package down is the stuff that the, uh, the small crafter can make. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Should I, should I not be, like, looting stuff off of this current base? Nah, go for it. We're not really going to be back here for any reason. The only major resource we can get out of this location is tit uh, titanium. Which, like, is useful. I'd say, uh, like okay, I was saying... I definitely, we've run out of energy while I do this, right? <laughs> Yeah. Let's see, this medium printer here can probably be packaged. A good point. Three platforms, the oxygenator. I'll grab the small printer. Oh, did you say I should take the oxygenator? Or no? Oh, I already have one. Oh, you already have one. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're super cheap to make. Now, where is the printer? I moved it right next to you. Oh, it's all... Is this oh thing? okay. Yep. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Is there much else? The problem is we actually have so much storage space after a certain point, and it's like, well, most we of this is loot. bonus that we can just make. Yeah, that's true. Um, I can certainly take some resources. I suppose I might as well take some zinc, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, my inventory is full of stuff, so... Yeah. Mine will be shortly. What is zinc even used for? Apart from the batteries. Uh, boost mods. Battery, power sensor. So we actually... I think tungsten might be better. Oh. Well, I picked up one tungsten. I can get another one. Yeah, because tungsten is used for the chemistry lab and the trade platforms. And the winch... Should I pick up and the no height. zinc then? Hmm? Should yeah. I keep no zinc? I think I, Just... I think I already grabbed a zinc. Should I take two tungsten then? Yeah, take two tungsten. Okay. I have one zinc and two tungsten. Cool. All right. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's where all the batteries went. Who knew? <laughs> See that ceramic seal. Oh, eh. I don't think I need any of these things. All right, let's go to Novus. And then we will stop because it is probably yeah, your bedtime. I think it is. It is past my bedtime. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, really. I should just be living in Alaska so that you can. <laughs> I mean, your... you, you could. Your seat's on the other side. You got it. There we go. Rad. All right. And then after Novus, pretty much we can make everything kind of. It'll be chemistry stuff that's the hard part. Hmm. At Novus. <laughs> you can just see my oh, forlorn. Oh, you can see the other... Oh, is that the three landing places you can do? Yeah. Oh, Novus is the moon. I think we want to go to Novus. Pretty sure it's Novus. Because, yeah, we already <laughs> did Vessiana. Vessiana needed the great graphene. All right, cool. Hey, check this out. Is it going to put us right next to the teleporter this uh -huh. time? Uh-huh. That's nice. Look at that. What even is the point of having the tractor and trailer? I, well, now you can immediately go adventuring next time we play. <laughs> that is true. That is very important. Yes, this is a good stopping point for me, though. This so. is, yeah, I'm just going to, you want to dump your backpack of items? I'll just set them up for, like, the next three minutes. Okay, that sounds good. Because that way we won't have to do it next time. 
I'm not going to do too much. Yeah, I wasn't too worried. Okay. Back that there. All right, so this yeah. is actually... This is too much. <laughs> we just don't need all the stuff, or what? Did we not bring the, uh... We didn't. Ha, that's funny. Didn't bring the what? We didn't bring the... the no, the small, uh, small crafting thing. Oh, the small printer. Yeah, which is actually like the most crucial thing. It's okay. We're right next to a bunch of compounds, so. <laughs> yeah, I, figured I was, just it was looking around for a second. Stuff. I was like, "Wait a second! I can't make anything." But like every planet, you get the stuff that you need to to make oh, yeah. the small printer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're good. Sounds good. All right. Well, All right. have a good. I'm gonna have sign a good off. Night. Yeah, you too. Did need the aluminum. Let's pull out the battery deck. Okay, so f soil con uh centrifuge needs compound. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna fool around for a little bit, get this base set up on this planet. This is okay. I was gonna say it's like, is this is this just it? Very weak showing of compounds. Wow, that was a very weak showing of compounds. There's more here. It's telling me there's more. Yeah, because all I need... All I need is just a smidge more. Okay. Should be some here. Is that it? Perfect. Yeah, because if I can get the soil centrifuge, I don't need to go looking for compound anymore. And then we're good. Yeah, I I know no I have no power in the suit. I just don't care that much. Alright, what else did he bring? Medium storage, medium solar, his own tractor. Medium solar, his trailer. This will just be nice. Hook this up for him. Let's see. And then we've got that. Well, this is working out pretty dang well. We'll come back next time. And I think, uh... I think for the most part, we'll be able to just immediately start beelining... Not for the center, but for some of the actually cool tech upgrades. I'm a little disappointed in the automation in this game. Mainly because I I had really high hopes for it. And you pretty much get access to the, the good automation at like the very end from what I can tell. Uh, let's see. We need... A big platform, don't we? Uh, let's see. I have like, yeah, I have a bunch over here. Maybe, maybe we'll actually need it once we get to that, uh, get to that later point. There's the resin that I'm looking for. I got the set soil centrifuge, but I can't actually uh, put it down on anything. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Any more Creeper World three today? No. Uh, I think we'll be we will be doing more Creeper World tomorrow. I'm a little tired. I've been working my butt off, and I kind of want to play a JRPG tonight. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Plus, we need more Xenoblade anyway. So I would like to be done with that game. It's a good game. But it is just eternal. Most games are. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, with Superland Crash and uh, Creeper World Three. I just today uh, today yesterday was supposed to be my off day, and I didn't get that. So today is kind of my like play with my brother, have a nice relaxing time. Play with Shell, have a nice relaxing time. 
Someday I'll take a proper day off, but gosh, I don't know when that ever is going to be. Could probably have brought some of the tall platforms along now that I'm thinking about it. Hey, while we're here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's been a little while. I've been streaming for five hours. Let's take a look at who did nice things for me. So thank you, Arbitrated Sean, for the 35 bits, I think. 35, 44 bits total. Thank you. Verisoc for the five, uh, for the 1,000 bits. I was going to say 500, but that's what you always give. But you missed yesterday. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Azria, for the 37-month resub. Don't have much to say, but 37 months is impressive. This is truth. Thank you, Bash Boy, for the 26-month resub. Thanks for all the fun over all this time. How many safety and other factory violations do you think Factorio... A factory of factory breaks. I say all. OSHA would have a fit. I would love to meet somebody that actually, like... Uh, I'm not going to say works for OSHA, but, like... So there's no point in that. Uh, well, yeah. It'd be interesting to interact with, like, an OSHA employee and be like, So, how illegal is everything that I just did? And then they'll just... It'll be wordless screaming on their part uh i you know i bet i bet if i if i if i was nice enough with an email i bet i could i bet i could actually get a hold of like an osha employee ask them things like that why am i putting that that there that's not gonna help me get the oxygenator back all right now we've got some solar. Now we've got this. Let's go for... Oh. Right. What do I need to get the... Smelting furnace? I need compound. Yeah. Let's let's get some compound. Is that all? I thought I did a lot more digging than that. Let's see. Oh, hey! Here's the other compound. I guess I'll just gather it myself. Perfect. Is that smelting furnace net down? So in that case, let's fill this back up. We want resin instead. Let's see. Also, thank you, Super Space Bot, for the 10 bits. I wonder. Me literally paying you to take a nice break. Go get some water and stretch a bit when you get the chance. I will. Uh, I got to do push ups, actually. And thank you, Matthias720, for the 100 bits. Looking forward to more Superlands. Yeah. I I do it tonight, but I think I'm going to want to kick back and, and uh, relax tonight so I can actually get a bunch of Xenoblade done as opposed to trying to juggle. I could just do Superland, but I'd probably end earlier. And get less done overall. Whereas I can come back tomorrow, be nice, uh, nice and ex excitable, and awake. I wonder if I built like a crazy dirt tower into the sky. If I could get more wind up there, that's a question. But I am excited for it as well. Superland is one of my absolute surprise top games I've ever played, where it was just one of those where it's like I had no idea what I was getting into. I thought it looked kind of dumb the first time I ever played it. And then I played it and I was like, oh shoot this is actually just really good. Alright, let's get some clay. I said I was going to stop and then I'm continuing to go for reasons. That's it. Superland's gonna require some brain juice, not for me what you found. It's definitely puzzly. Yeah, can you get to another planet with a uh with a dirt tower? I don't think so. That said I might try with a paver. Let's see, might be a good idea to have Kakajou edit some of the Goose vs. Game stuff. I could do that. It wouldn't even be that hard. It's just a matter of, like, putting the time away. It's 
It's one of those that I have to kind of decide how I want to handle content in the future. I could hire an editor to continuously edit things for me, and that is something that I might do. Um, that said, it gets kind of expensive. Uh, and my videos don't get quite enough views to generate that kind of interest. I was experimenting with it a little bit. Because uh, I, I wanted to see if I could... Why do I have the fur? Oh, I have the furnace down specifically for this. Uh, I wanted to experiment with with it with Kakujo and the uh, the oh shoot, what is it? The man eater thing. I guess I guess uh, the video should be out on YouTube at this point, seeing as Kakujo edited that one down, which is I assume what you were referencing a little bit. Uh... Uh, let's see, but that that video is not going to pull in nearly enough value for like how much uh, how much it costs to like edit, and I'm fine with that because mostly I just kind of wanted to experiment and see how it would go. Uh, uh, let's see, but generally it's better for me to use my time on that that sort of thing. Uh, my own time and like figure out how to actually edit it myself uh, which isn't so bad uh, but that does mean that like after a certain point I might want to specifically stop streaming as much or like stop doing as many YouTube series or heck if I know but who knows Maybe what I'll do is just hire him once a month to do a video for me. Because that that is something I could justify. And if it's one of those where, it, like, it actually does get a lot of views, and I'm only operating under a small loss, then I would gladly do it. But also, maybe if I just was funnier. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm enjoyable to listen to, but it's one of those where I'm not... I'm not uh, the greatest at, at uh, highlight clips, because I'm... Talk, constantly talking. Uh, oh, that's what happened to all my my dirt. There's some really quotable stuff I'm surprised we didn't get. Yeah, I think he was shooting for one video or I don't know. I'm not going to question it too much. I was definitely hoping you'd be able to get uh, more than one video out of that one, but there was a lot of me just kind of sitting there and podcasting and critiquing, which I'm sure is kind of its own thing. But, like, on a personal level, I'd actually really like to uh, start putting some more time and energy and effort into uh, more like, I'm going to call it like one-off content or special content. Uh, so, easy example would be game reviews. I'd actually like to sit down and start doing some proper game reviews. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan, huge something. When I started learning uh, how to do YouTube, there were, th like, four channels that I... What the? Floating rocks. There were, like, four channels that I looked at specifically to learn. Uh... Uh, it was Gassy Mexican, it was Northern Lion, and it was Total Biscuit. And I I feel like I've kind of got my own s style for multiplayer at this point, and my own style for sing single player at this point. But I'm not great at the whole review thing and like doing like a one-off review video. And I think that's something that I would actually like to get in on. I know there's some other reviewers that like, you know, the void has been somewhat filled. Uh, but I'd like to try my own, uh, my own at that one. Let's see, D&D &D would also be a good one. It would be. I've got to start doing D&D &D campaigns again, which is another huge time expenditure that's kind of difficult for me to work around. Because uh, I effectively have to wrangle people, set up the campaign. If I could have somebody else do all of the organization finding the people for me, and all I had to do was actually keep the campaign going, that would make my life so much easier.
Because, yeah, as it stands as the dungeon master, I have to be the one to do all the scheduling, do all the immediate stuff. And that actually does get a little... Uh, I'll call it tiresome. Uh, it's just, you know, it's time-consuming. It's hard. Let's see. Funny thing is, he hated his videos were called reviews. He insisted they were first impressions. Because they kind of were. But it was still... I, it would be a YouTube-style review, which is... I'm going to say less in-depth than certain people. There, are, I'll leave the uh, the in-depth video essay, essays talking about, like, the finer finer details of Bloodborne uh, to an expert. But, like, there's a shit ton of games out there where I can just sit down and say, like, hey, this is a good game. This is not, not a good game. Uh, but I'd like to sit down and do, like, I think longer things talking about why. I feel like my indie game lightning round kind of gets in there, but not quite. I don't know. Okay. Well, we've got a basis for a base. Everything is looking good. I could keep pushing at this, but uh, at this point, I think I'm good to go. Let's see. Go back to this. I say that, and then I keep going. That's just how these games work. Just leave that there. We're going to need uh, glass, actually. And I can I can get glass out of this. Okay. That'll be the last thing that I do. Did I get these back? Yes. Probably also clear my inventory out. There we go. That's enough. Little Biscuit had cancer? Yeah. That's what did him in. It was nasty stuff, too. I mean, all cancer is nasty, but, like, it pretty much had no mercy. I remember... I remember the day where he was talking about it, how he was just going in for a, a checkup. And then he was like, yeah, you know, it's it's something that runs in the family, and then just, like, a bunch of stuff like that. And it's just... Bleh, it sucks. Okay, right. Pull that out. Put these back in. Because if I can get glass out of this, we can get a bunch of wind. It's only four quarts, but that's still better, better than nothing. Because, yeah, if I can just put a bunch of wind things up there, we can keep our batteries filled. That was kind of a dark thing to join into. Uh, join into. Sorry about that. I just... I mean... It's weird. I've gotten really lucky on Twitch and YouTube that all of my immediate heroes, all of the people that I, like, truly looked up to when I was starting my channel, none of them have gone bad yet. But, uh... I don't know. I don't know which is worse. No, definitely others. This game is an addiction. It is. It's There's always one last thing that you can do. And so it's like, I kind of want to just prep so that uh, next time when I'm playing with my brother, I don't have to uh, spend all the time base bombing, which is kind of what I just do for this series. Uh, and I don't necessarily begrudge that. Yeah, no bro today? He already went to bed. Uh, this is just... This is me just not being ca uh, capable of finishing up. But yeah, if we get some good windmills, we can just attach it to that. And get some power. I don't know why my user interface is freaking out. Like, it's glitchy at the best of times, but it gets real wild.
real wild normally. But anyway, so, yeah, I just, I have to determine what I specifically want to do with myself over the next, uh, couple of years. Because there's, there's a strong temptation for me to stop streaming as much, or hire an editor more often, or something. Um, yeah, we're just out of juice. Uh, and do more highly edited things, just kind of for fun, and... Personal improvement. There we go. That's some wind. That's actually a decent amount of wind, too. And it's gone. <laughs> That's okay. The sun, sun will be up. This is good enough. Let's go save. Oh, yeah. We haven't been killed by a wind... Like a flying rock storm. I wonder if they took that out of the game. Well, anyway, save and quit. This is fun. I oh, let's go out to the main menu. I want to check something. They did take take them out. That's probably for the best. They were annoying. They were fun, but they were annoying. So do I have anything I buy obits? Wait, you have to spend real money on this? I'm a little I don't know how to feel about that one. I guess I don't mind too much. You have to fund your further development of a game somehow. And at this point, we are well past this game's like 1.0 unless i'm mistaken like 1.0 was a year ago uh so including a cash shop as a very post launch thing to fund your develop uh fund further development of this game i'm actually totally fine with that i like the initial gut uh knee jerk knee jerk reaction is just like Ugh. but then this is what how much is this game How much can you buy Astroneer for right now? Normally and Steam sale. It is 30 bucks normally, 20 bucks on sale. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not terribly bothered by this. It's also really tempting to get the uh the robot suit just because like yeah it's all cosmetic stuff and I just love these developers so it's not that big of a deal if it was more I don't know I I guess here's the question what would you prefer them start selling the next couple updates as DLC uh you know so if you want to buy the automation pack it's five bucks or would you uh, would you rather the automation pack be free and then have a bunch of skins that you could buy if you wanted to? Because, like, from my perspective, this is actually pretty holistic. They already give a decent amount of unlockable skins in-game. Um, and personally, like, in my mind, I'd be fine with either or even potentially both if it meant them continually, continuously expanding this game. Uh, I'm curious how much money they made in comparison to like RimWorld or Fortnite or RimWorld or uh, Factorio. But like development ain't cheap, so I'm fine with it. I don't know, I might buy this. I was kind of hoping you could earn some qubits by playing too, but that would be really hard to balance. So I kind of understand. And there's not that much in the cash shop to begin with. Well, anyway, this is fun, but for now, I'm gonna go play something else.